Ian, we have a Patreon poll topic. We do. Uh, you go to uh, patreon.com slash CU podcast. Uh, Good to you, have you back to, to, to do the show. You uh, you pick the the item like an automat. Like an automat. It's you, like DoorDash. You it's pick, like, it's you like pick ordering the item, item and you poke it and, <laughs> and you, you po- swipe the card. It's like being a, it's like being with those newfangled uh, airports where you don't have any waiter. You, right. just, you just do it. And there it is. And then it pops out. Ian's writing that he was supposed to get done yesterday. It was going to pop out. I will get one done. Uh, I, the last one was uh, on patties so that was posted last week. I posted I posted one in Ian's stead on on the difference between uh, East Coast and West Coast pizza, New York New Jersey pizza. Very important. I wanted the detail. Very very important. Very important to know uh, that. I'm um, right up. Uh, so yeah, oh, we have a we have a question though. So, uh, people ask us questions here. Questions. Well, no, it's a Patreon poll. It's a Patreon color. poll. Pastry poll. <laughs> pastry it's poll. A pastry You're on poll. falling apart. In third place, Ian, what was in third place? Third place was what would your ideal game collection ki- consist of if price was no object? In 17%, second place... 17%. 17%. Second place was favorite fast foods. That was 28. 28%. That's good. And what classic arcade games do you just not enjoy playing? That's Woo. 55%. You want to start or... Here I'll I am start. with a spicy one. I fucking hate Space Invaders. I cannot oh. I cannot stand Space Invaders. The original Space Invaders is not fun to me to play. There have been versions of Space Invaders since that I like, but the original Space Invaders is one of the most upsettingly unfun games I have ever played in my entire life. I'm not I think far off. I think it's miserable. Uh, it's incredibly <laughs> it's incredibly stressful. It's slow. It also, I'll go back to stressful. Um, <laughs> and then I'll go back to slow and not fun and also very stressful. I hate that game. I was I was gonna say that was lower on my list, but I don't enjoy the original Space Invaders either. Oh, it sucks! Yeah, I don't like the single shot action. No, there's not enough to ca- to hit every. It's it's a there's a reason why there was a there was a coin shortage, uh, in Japan and why it's the most important video game ever, bar none, according to North Gaming Historian. No, um, it's important. I, I'm it's, not saying it's, it's not important or it shouldn't a, be explored or it's not. No, it doesn't have its place. It's a cheap game. I just hate it. It's an important game. Game history. It's a cheap game. You cannot. Most, I'd say, ninety percent of the people cannot get past probably the second screen with, without their quarter being gone. I can probably get to the third or fourth, and then I'm done. It's not built for you to be successful. It's built to kick kick your ass. First of all, I'm but sure more, there are people who are good at it. No, I'm no, sure there's a way to be good at it. But I, there's I, a way to be good at it. Me, but I'm, I'm just me. telling you this. I think you can learn Pac-Man a lot easier than you can learn Space Invaders even. And learning the keys and how to get around. I think so. A Space Invaders is just you better have every shot hit everyone by the third screen, or you're done. You're done. And then it starts speeding up, gets to the bottom. The shields suck. The shields do do more that you can't get. The shields suck. I'm sorry. Don't need the shields. I'd rather not have the shields. I'd rather not, almost, at that point. It, it's I re- Just from the earliest age, I remember it being like one of the first video games where when I was done, I was like, oh, this isn't good. It's this not isn't good. This isn't fun. It's, I mean, it's this important. It's not fun. This made me upset. Dare I, dare I say it did not age well. Probably immediately yeah. it did not age well. And then they had Deluxe and no one cared about. Galaga. Play Galaga. Play Galaga or even Galaxian before you play Space Invaders. Took the concept and it's scrolling. Galaxian is is yeah. very simple and basic, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It gets rid of the BS that I hate about Space Invaders. You know which what I said? It's stressful, not fun, and slow. Okay. You know what's what's not slow, but gets my stress? Missile Command. I get too invested in Missile Command, thinking that I'm actually saving my cities from being destroyed by nuclear. But, uh, n- nuclear missiles by, by C- ICBMs. I th- I think Missile Command. I, I like I like Missile Command. I do too. It gets stressful really quickly. Yes, yes, it does. It gets stressful. As I played it. Uh, I played Missile Command probably more in the past two weeks than I have in the past ten oh, really? years. I played it a few times at uh, Long Island, and then I played it in. Um, I played I, it at the Strong I, Museum. I didn't get a chance to play any arcade games at Long Island. Right, there's Rolling Thunder right there. Sorry, go on. Oh, but yeah, it's it's a fun game. Um, I mean, it's a neat game. It's a fun game. It's one that I definitely don't particularly love to play. No. I will play it when I see it because I love the cabinet. And, and, and I love the cabinet. And I'm, and I'm, I love the tiny buttons. And I'm, and I'm pretty good at it. I'm not saying like, oh, you suck. No, I can get decently. I just get, I'm always stressed. Yeah. I'm always thinking that those little cities are like millions of people getting killed. Somehow like bullet yeah. hell shooters don't stress me out. No. I just, I zone out on it and it actually almost becomes kind of peaceful no matter how many times I'm dying. But there's just so much going on in Missile Command. Uh, okay. Well, we, we, um, I don't like... Uh, I don't like Frogger that much. I don't. I don't hate it. I don't like it that much. I love Frogger. I don't like I, it that much. I can definitely disagree with you on that. I love Frogger. Um, that was one of my favorites when I was growing uh, up. Uh, let's let's. Uh, I'm trying to think of some esoteric ones. Air ones. Uh, Sinistar is stressful. That's not a, obviously a grade A title. 
that's more of a, a you know a gem one. Sinistar is not bad. It's just really difficult uh, to get into, and but it is stressful with that big ass Sinistar running after you though. That does get stressful. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I. I. I've always. Uh, I always want to like Sinistar, but I don't. It's, it's tough. Get into it. But yeah. that's fair. Space Invaders is not fair. Uh, let's see. Dragon's Lair. Uh, I don't enjoy Dragon's Lair at all. I don't think most people do. I love Dragon's Lair. Legitimately love Dragon's Lair. You legitimately like like that learning yes. learning how not to get uh-huh. killed. I, I, it's fun. I like watching the the animation. Uh, I don't enjoy that. Um, it's not to be just uh, cla- it's it's classics. We're, we're st- stick with the eighties here. Um, do, do you like Joust? I don't really like Joust that much. I really don't. No. I'd, I'd rather play Balloon it. Fight. I'm not saying Joust is a bad game. I never got into it. I, they're very much the same, but Balloon Fight has a, a theme a, a, that I like better. Um, but I, I'm I'm not hugely into either of those. I games. think there's a reason Joust died out pretty quickly. Yeah. You get a bunch of Joust sequels there. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Now we're getting to weird ones like Pac-Man Plus and those weird Pac-Man games I don't like. Just give me Miss Pac-Man or Pac-Man. Don't, don't give me Super Pac-Man or Pac-Man Plus. Don't give me those. Don't give me no baloney. I want a man which, please. I mean, at that point. Yeah. Um, let's see. Any other ones that any ones that you'd be surprised that people would be like, oh, because Dragon's Lair. A lot of people don't like Dragon's Lair, but any ones you'd be people would be shocked at. Um, honestly, I mean, I I look at a lot of these games, and they're either some of the ones I don't like either aren't worth mentioning, or honestly, there's a lot of games that I'm like, you know what, this is better than people give it credit for, and I, I wish more people knew it. Um, I guess I don't spend a lot of time thinking about the arcade games I hate. I used to hate Defender and Stargate. Now I got better them as I got older. Now I understand them more, so I actually like them better. Uh, same, That's, actually. I, I went to the opposite there. I actually grew up. and I was like, oh, this is actually, I, I kind of get it now. My mom was really good at Defender on the 5200. Imagine that shit. Imagine playing 5200 Defender with that goddamn joystick. Um, oh, now you, now you realize that the joystick and the whole system is garbage. No, I know the joystick's garbage. I still like the system. Now, what about that classic, that classic beat him up uh, Double Dragon, Ian? That's one you don't enjoy oh, playing. Oh, that is, that is one that I absolutely hate. I really don't like that game at all. It is just a fucking slog. It's, it's boring and slow and not fun, and I hate it, just like Space Invaders. And cheap. I'm not going to apologize for the garbage plate dig now, because you deserve it after that. Fuck Double Dragon. Double Dragon was the best. What are you talking about? Um, you know what? Burger Time then. Burger Time is trash. I love Burger, Burger Time. Time is absolute trash. Always was, always will be. You just don't trash. know how to play it right. Oh, you don't either. You. Whenever you say that, you can't get past the second stage. Whenever you, you tell can't me that. get past the first, which is why it's trash. Because I'm a decent game player and I don't understand the, the strategy. I can almost beat the Game Boy one. Last time you told me you, you were good at it, we played at the NES Marathon. I think you couldn't get past the second stage. I'm, I'm not even trying to... That was the truth. Yeah, but I but still you, know you, how to play you, it. Because I don't you, play it every day. It's still a fun game. You have to play it differently. I, I can go back and play Pac-Man play after like a, a year game. and be good at it. I can play Donkey Kong a year later and be good at it. I don't have to be able to train at my my shitty arcade game that doesn't deserve to still exist as a classic to be good at to beat the second stage. Burger Time's amazing. It's not amazing. Just that, because I, you I, try to play it like Pac-Man doesn't mean it's. I don't bad. try to play it like Pac-Man. Sure. Try to eat. I don't try to eat the the the, the, the wiener and try to eat the egg <laughs> and whatever the hell is. Ch- what else is chasing me, Ian? The wiener and the egg, the pickle. Is there a pickle in there? Pickles, eggs, uh, hot dogs. Screw screw burger time. That's uh, the one. And I think no French fries are. You know what? One, you know what? One real quick. You know what? One that I always think I'm gonna enjoy more. And I don't. Zaxxon. Uh, Zaxxon. I can never wrap my mind around being able to look left and right and look at the 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 the, the height scale. I always think I'm good at it, and then I then I, I get destroyed. You know, it's one for me. And, and but of- I actually enjoy Zaxxon. I just get turned off a little bit. Um, and, and it's it's not because I don't think there's a good game in there. It's because being uh, a lefty completely fucks it up. I can't play Tron. Oh, I've I've given up on playing Tron. I I just I can't fucking do it because the dials here. And the joystick is here. You can, do, you can do the light cycle if you don't. Need I to can do light cycles, down. and I love the light cycles. I, I love games that are like that, but it's way too hard for me to cross arms and then. Well, twist the dial, it. the dial's on the left. Dial's on the left. So right-handed, but you usually use your left to play. Yeah. So, so it, it it's all fucked up. 
I so that's interesting because if it was left around, it'd be the same for me. For you, it's more problem being that. Yes, I love that game. I love that original Tron so much. I, it's a great idea. I just I've given up on like getting excited when I see it because I know I'm gonna last twenty seconds uh, futzing with the controls and then say fuck this and walk away. This of Tron is, is fun too. It's just too quick of a game. Like you beat the guys quickly and you get killed easily. That like you go through a game like two minutes. This this of Tron. Sure. There's not a huge amount going on there. Uh, for that, well, they tried it. Well, that's why they had to separate it out. They tried to include it, but we realized it's a whole new game. Uh, there. All right, I think that's that's good. We covered them. Yeah, we you covered them. So, uh, my burger time is your double dragon. Fair enough. I know your weakness. Moving on. 